Now, today I want us to look at how to use a meter on okay? Now, before I start, can somebody remind me what did we learn previously? Yes, Nicholas. Our previous lessons, we, we lesson we learned about the physical quantities. We learned about the physical quantities, very good. And tell us, what did we learn in the physical quantities? Uh, we learned that physical quantities are divided into two categories. Can you name them? That is derived physical quantities Physi and the basic physical quantities. Derived and the basic physical quantities. Now, if I want you to give me three examples of basic quantities, just three examples. Length, the length, mass, the mass, and time. And time, very good. Can you clap for him? Now, Joyce, can you give us examples of the last quantities that we learned? Volume, volume, density, density area. and area. Can you clap for her? Now, after saying that, today I want us to look at how we can accomplish this measure using a meter, okay? And with me is a whole surface here. I can see that it's open. And you're going to help me measure this one, okay? So before I start, I would like to tell you whenever you're measuring using a meter, okay? first of all, make sure you place uh, your ruler against the object. Make sure your ruler is placed on top or against the object. For example, if this is the object, you want to place it on top of it because you want to measure it, okay? Second thing, whenever you are reading on your scale, place your eye contact. Perpendicular to your scale, okay? So for instance, I want us to look, why are we saying you place your eye perpendicular? Take for example, if I'm reading my scale, can Judy, can you tell us if you are looking at me perpendicular, what is the measurement of this length? It is 8 centimeters, very true. So the reading is 8 centimeters when you read perpendicularly. Now, Joyce, can you come here, please? I want you to start from that side. Now, read. what is the measurement here? Joyce gets it as 8.2 at an angle, okay? Now, I want somebody to come and confirm for us between the two readings by Judy and Joyce, okay? Which one is the correct one? Now, I'm giving you uh, Nicholas. Measure it again and tell us which among the two is the correct answer. When I take the measurement of the listener, the reading of this cylinder is 8.0 centimeters. 8.0 centimeters. Well done. Sit down. Now, you will also confirm with me that whenever you take it, uh, Nicholas gets 8.0 centimeters. So, this one is true, and this one is true, and this one is the wrong answer. So, basically, what am I saying? That whenever you're making your readings, measure perpendicularly, you get the right answer. After saying that, I'll leave you with an assignment. Um, on page 52, you do exercise 3, that is from N to J. Attempt those questions on measurement and see if you can get them correct. Having said that, I would like to leave you guys. May you have a bright day, okay? Amen.